Hey everybody, it's Stockpigs by Tim here, and I want to talk about Voyager and also VGX token. The two go hand in hand. But we've got some recent news here regarding some numbers, their revenue, their growth, things of that nature, and also some information here regarding the regulation headwinds we're looking at here. So if you're new here, I put out daily stock and crypto videos. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate the support. And if you don't have Voyager, make sure you check out the links below to check out Voyager Digital so you can have access to VGX. It is also on Coinbase and I've got some other links for you as well. So check out the description. And let's start off with some negatives. And I will leave you guys a link below, as always, to both of the things I go over here. But just as of April 5, we just got an update on the state orders, the regulation that we're looking at here. And here's a quote by the CEO, first off. I want to emphasize to our shareholders and customers that only one of our products is noted on the orders. Voyager has always recognized that the U.S. regulatory framework must evolve and in some cases completely transform to address the needs of the rapidly expanding crypto sector. Historically, Voyager has advocated for thoughtful regulation, which is a natural progression for this asset class. We believe tailored regulation will spur increased confidence and adoption of crypto assets. Nonetheless, Voyager continues to pursue its strategy to innovate and grow the business and position the company as a leader in the crypto asset market. So it seems that only one of the products that they offer was mentioned in the orders. And they still want to clarify certain statements that they believe are inaccurate. And, you know, this is definitely going to affect VGX's price. And it has been, you know, we're sitting at like 160. We were almost around the three, four dollar range at one point not too long ago. And of course, it depends on where Bitcoin's going. But, you know, as a negative, this is definitely going to kind of hurt the price for the short term, I'd say. But, you know, when you look at all uh, crypto exchanges in general, this is going to affect all of them. And I think regulators and states don't fully understand what's really going on. They're just kind of targeting exchanges like BlockFi, for instance, and now Voyager. Now, we do kind of have to get through these regulation hurdles for crypto to get more widely accepted. So in a way, in a weird twisted way, this is a good thing because we can get past this early. And from my understanding, it seems that the state is seeing this. It's basically staking the rewards from staking that they seem to have a problem with. But, you know, this happens on almost all of the exchanges, and it's it mainly depends on which crypto you pick that gives you the certain staking rewards, although, of course, it varies from exchange to exchange. But I think that regulators just don't fully understand crypto yet, and that's part of the issue. And it needs to be seen as its own complete asset class, not as a security. But that's my personal opinion. But, you know, worst case scenario, they might be forced to not offer as many rewards or offer rewards in some kind of a different way. This isn't going to mean that Voyager is just going to have to shut down and all crypto is over. So, and you know, that's what I think is the worst case scenario is that they're going to have to cut some of their rewards off or do something of that nature. But that's the worst that can happen in reality. Now, we just got an announcement of preliminary revenue here for the fiscal 2022 third quarter. And we're going to get into some of these numbers here and I'll give you some negative things first. But the net new deposits was approximately 395 million compared to 1.8. 0.4 billion for the fiscal 2022 second quarter so that isn't good that's not good but you know overall all these crypto exchanges are dealing with this right now and these are some of the growing pains that a lot of these companies are experiencing you know just when there's fear in crypto people aren't as willing to go into it people kind of just want to stay back but when they see that their friends are making money or they see that family's making money they want to be more involved in it they want to put their money in too so i think overall just the current crypto market the current fear in the market the overall environment is part of the reason why Voyager's numbers aren't continuing to just drastically increase. And this is another example here. Their uh, total revenue for fiscal 2022 third quarter and in March 31, 2022 is estimated between 100 million and 105 million compared to 164 million for that second quarter. So that's not as good, but it is better than the 60 million in the third quarter one year ago. When you look at it year over year, their growth is still growing very nice. But when you look at it quarter of quarter, we kind of had a little bit of a decline. But to me, this information here is a little bit bittersweet. But like I said before, I believe in Voyager, the token. I believe in Voyager, the company over the long term. And they have a lot of exciting new products that they're going to release. And they have been releasing, such as the Voyager debit card. They actually just delivered their first batch of the Voyager debit cards. And they also added the Voyager desktop app. And they're still supposed to be working on stocks. So you will actually be able to use Voyager for stocks and crypto. So I think that's pretty big. And they will also have NFT support, as well as your own personal wallet. So we have a lot of things moving forwards for Voyager the company. And I think this is definitely going to increase the utility of VGX token. And they might even tie this in in a certain way, where if you have a certain amount of VGX token, you get some special rewards um, in terms of some stocks. I'm very interested to see what they're going to do there. And they're also going to open up a whole nother tier. So that's very exciting as well. Net new deposits is down. Revenue is less than the previous quarter, but still up year over year. But verified users is up pretty nice as well. A nice steady increase there. 
and total funded accounts continue to grow as well. So that's good. It seems to me that just the fear in the market, people are not putting as much money into crypto. Obviously, as you can see, since the price is declining, not increasing, money is being taken out. A lot of money lately has been on the sidelines and people are all expecting a recession. So a lot of people are putting as much cash on the side as they can. I do think that's set to change in the coming months, but it could always get worse before it gets better. Now looking at VGX on the chart here, we are now under the 300 MA again, trying to develop a support here at about 160. We did at our lowest low hit about 133 a few weeks ago, and I really don't expect us to come down there again. So I honestly think it's a great time to add in now. I think this was a huge overreaction, and I think mostly it was the fears during the Ukraine war, also Fed fears, and I honestly think it's a great time to get into VGX right now. And I really do expect over the years for this to get huge. It's still a very, very small cap. It's sitting in the mid 100s in terms of crypto overall. It's like the top 150 ish crypto. So it's a very, very small cap. I think it has a lot of room to run. And this is one of my highest conviction cryptos. But that's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you think about Voyager and about this recent news in the comments below. And I will see you next time.